Hi guys, in this video we're going to do some conversions in 15mm. Scruffy Crow! <laughs> okay, so I have been basing it all of my all of my 15mm goals uh, and there's a couple of little changes I want to make. Uh, one, I wanted one more guy with a sword and a shield um, and I didn't have him, so I was gonna. I'm gonna convert one out of a spearman. And the other conversion I want to do is I've got this spacer guys, uh, and they mostly don't have helmets apart from this guy. Um, and I want to have them all unhelmeted. So we'll start with this one first. I've actually already started this. I've cut away some of his spear uh, where it was going across his chest, up to just under his hand there. I'm now going to go in with my knife and just try and neaten some of that up. I'm trying to follow the fold in his shirt so it doesn't look like anything's been really removed. I'll well catch some mold lines while we're in here. And now I'm just carving him a little V out of his shirt neck. And then we have the front of his shirt. I think I'm pretty happy with the way that's come out. Now these guys got quite simple looking swords anyway. Uh, so all I'm going to do for what was the back of his spear is I'm going to flatten it down. So I'm just going to carve it flat on the other side. And then I'm going to take that point off. So, so far we've gone from this to this. Uh, I'm also going to add a little bit of green stuff, but let's start the other one first. So, this guy, and I want to give him a head from this fellow. This guy's going to lend his, his lovely ringlets to the cores, because I've got a few of these sculpt. So I'm going to start by decapitating him. But I think I'm going to try and keep some of this ponytail as well. I'm going to be pretty brutal to this guy, because I don't think there's any reason for me to save any of the rest of it. And I'm going to take him off at his shoulders. I'm just carving away the bits we don't need. And now I'm going to cut up the back of his ponytail and in his neck. And there we go, there's his little face with his little ponytail. Okay, next we have to decapitate this guy and remove his hair off the back here. Let's do a little test fit. There, that looks pretty good. Let's get a little dab of glue on there. And there we go. Head swap and hair swap, I think that's looking all right. A little touch of green stuff in there and you will never know the difference. So I've got a tiny amount of green stuff mixed up here. I'm probably still gonna waste half of this. Make a tiny little sausage. still some problems with his fingers so I'm actually going to remove a little bit more material there and what looks like a tiny blob of green stuff on my thumb uh, becomes an enormous splodge when we try and get it on a model so I'm going to start by working it onto his hand onto the blade so we're trying to copy the, the hilts on these ones and I'm going to use the edge of my blade here to try and put his fingers back in and then we're just wrapping that around the back. And there we have it. I think that's done. I'm probably not going to bother with any green stuff on his shirt. I think that's going to look alright once it's painted. So very carefully I'm going to get some glue on this guy. Get him stuck down in his space. And I'll clean up the rest of the mould lines when I do the rest of this little base. Okay, let's finish up the head swap. I think the net looks fine. I'm not really going to worry about that. So it's just going to be a little sausage around each side of his ponytail. So again, really thin bit. And it looks massive as soon as we put it near the model. I'm just going to work that into the gap and then put some little holes in it to try and 
copy his curly hair on the other side. So again, we're just working it into the gap and then prodding a little bit of texture in there. And there we have it. And I don't think you'd ever want to. And there we have it. Once that's got some paint in it, I think you'll not even notice that that was a head swap. So there we go. That was me doing some conversions at 15 mil scale, something I've never really tried before. Uh, and it was certainly more of an interesting challenge than trying to do this at a regular 28 mil scale. And here's a 28 mil guy just as a comparison so you can kind of appreciate how small these guys are. But I definitely think it's worthwhile and I look forward to doing some more conversions at this scale. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.